Hey folks, it's Dom here, and today I thought I'd do a quick little keg opening, you know, just a quick unboxing video, just to kind of open some cards and, I guess, have a little bit of a chit-chat. Anyway, One let's just get into it. So, immediately we, uh, we get a bunch of very boring cards, I won't lie. Just some very kind of plain ones. Um, I'm recording this as they've just started showing off some of the new Nilfgaard cards for the next um, the next event from Price of Power, and I'm really interested by Nilfgaard. It looks very cool, really nice that they're kind of working with what your opponent has and double agents, disloyal cards, etc, etc. I'm not really a fan of Equinox, so we'll just go for the scraps. And I mean, I've noticed that they've mentioned that if you look on their Gwent page, that you can still find out what the few um, cards coming are roughly aimed about, like how Monsters is adding on to the Sabbath and mentioning that a very special guest is attending. Uh, Scoia tells about using elven spells, so that's probably some more spell cards and stuff like that. I believe Syndicate is. Syndicate says something like tributes paid, uh, bounties collected. So maybe we'll see some tribute cards coming in for Syndicate as well as some, you know, extra bounty cards. I don't know if they'll put too much into bounty though, as I think it's in a very good spot right now. And, you know, it'd be a bit weird if they went really crazy. I uh, don't know if we use that. Um, Northern Realms already has all their cards shown, and. They're all to do with like patience and more kind of things to add on to it, which I think is really nice for them because as much as I really like the idea of patience, it does leave itself incredibly vulnerable. Especially if your opponent's got a lot of removal or anything and it means that you're not able to get off your own patience abilities or even that if your opponent has ways of stealing your units, then it's just going to completely mess with you. I believe Skellic is also sticking on the whole kind of rain, storm, and alchemy route, which would be nice to see because I do kind of miss playing some alchemy Skelliger. And I mean, you might have seen my video from the other week where I try to play the new cards. It's a nice, fun little deck, but you can clearly tell that there's more stuff that you want to have a bit of a play about with. They've also shown off one of the neutral cards coming, which I believe if it's like put in the melee lane will put a like kind of artifact or scenario in its final chapter, which is going to be quite nice just for if you do ever like brick and don't get the cards you need. And then I believe the back one is something to do with resetting the ability on a location, which again I find really interesting to kind of see the route they're going for. I don't think they're going to add more locations or scenarios, so they might add a neutral one. But, I don't know. I'm not too sure about that, at least. Because adding a neutral one would be really interesting, but at the same time, like, you know, you're not really going to be seeing... I don't really want this. Um, you're not going to be seeing anything too outstanding, because it would have to be generic enough to fit into quite a lot of decks. So, just have to keep that in mind. Wyvern Scale Shield is trash. So, we'll go for that. Hopefully, we can get a Legendary by the end of this. I mean, Rune Word has become a very good card. It went from utter dog to just wow. Um, <laughs> you know, it'd be nice to see some more cards like that. I'm glad that Bounty's back because I, I really enjoy Syndicate and I just like having reasons to play it. I mean, we only have like two more weeks roughly to wait until we get the new content, which is really nice, as I'm very much excited to kind of see what we get, and then I believe, is it October that the, um, don't want that, October that I think we get the last third of the um, expansion, nice, now here we go, legendary, and that's the most underwhelming trio because we have them all, we'll go for Yennefer because she's hot. But, um, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much my take on the new content coming. Just a bit of extra kind of info for you guys who are interested. I'm probably just going to go with Desert Banshee, to be honest. And, uh, yeah, hopefully we'll see some more Gwen content. I will admit, you might have noticed I have been falling down the ranks, as I've not been playing as much Gwen as, well, I usually do. But, yeah, I've been trying to get back into it. I've been really enjoying the games I have been playing. And with that, I will be ending the video, so I hope you guys have enjoyed this little unboxing, opening, 
and I'll see you in the next one.